Hey guys, it's Nihongo Johnny. Minasan konnichiwa, Nihongo Johnny desu. Welcome back to the 31 Nights of Halloween Sunday Storytime Reading. And for those of you who are new, my name's Johnny and I talk about all things paranormal in Japan. Every Sunday in October, I do a quiet voice storytime reading. I usually read scary Japanese ghost stories. So today, I will be reading one of my favorite stories, the story of Oiwa. I hope you guys can enjoy it just as much as I do. If you haven't already, feel free to pause the video, go get a snack and get some tea, and let's all enjoy this story together. Oiwa is one of the most famous Japanese ghost stories ever written. In Japan, it is known as Yotsuya Kaidan, and it tells the story of a woman who was poisoned by her unfaithful husband. Her disfigured ghost returns from the dead to exact revenge. Oiwa was a beautiful young woman who lived in a small town in Japan. Her boyfriend's name was Iemon, and together, although they didn't have much money, Oiwa loved him very much. She was overjoyed when her childhood sweetheart asked her to marry him. After the wedding, they moved in together, and the happy couple was soon expecting a baby. Oiwa did not care that Iemon was poor, but as time went on, he became angry and depressed about his lack of prospects. Iemon soon grew to hate his happy young wife, and he started to have an affair with a rich young woman named Oume. He romanced her for months, and eventually she fell in love with him. One day, Oume's father came to see Iemon. He told Iemon what a shame it was that he was already married. This was because his daughter loved him very much. The father went on to tell him that he would always ensure his future son's wealth. Iemon spent a great deal of time thinking about what Oume's father had told him. An evil plot began to form in his mind. He decided that the only way he could marry Oume was to get rid of Oiwa and her unborn child. He thought that the easiest way to do this would be to secretly poison Oiwa and make it look like she died of natural causes. Poor Oiwa was totally ignorant of her husband's murderous plans. Blissfully unaware of the fate that was about to befall her, she continued to happily prepare for the birth of her baby. One evening, when Oiwa and Iemon were sitting down for dinner, she noticed that her husband was strangely quiet and nervous. She encouraged him to eat his dinner, but he did not touch his food. He yelled at Oiwa and told her to stop fretting and eat her own meal. She needed to be strong for the baby, he said. Oiwa finally gave up trying to tempt Iemon's appetite, and she started to eat her dinner. It wasn't long before that that she started to feel very sick. Iemon watched coldly as the poison did its work not offering to help her or even comfort her. But Oiwa did not die right away. Her beautiful face became disfigured from the poison. Then she slipped into unconsciousness. Iemon was too much of a coward to finish the job he started, so he put Oiwa's lifeless body in bed. Eventually, Oiwa woke up from her coma, remembering nothing of the poisoning. She had lost her baby, and her face was ugly and terrible. But Oiwa lived. Iemon was desperate. He played the part of the concerned husband, but he was looking for any way possible to rid himself of his wife. One evening, he took Oiwa for a long walk. They made their way to a cliff. Then, Iemon looked around to see if anyone was nearby. No one was in sight. Iemon pushed Oiwa off the ledge. Her broken body was recovered, and Iemon gave her the best funeral he could afford. He spent a great deal of money in order to show material devotion. Of course, Iemon knew his money troubles were only temporary now that Oiwa was gone. Thinking his worries were over, Iemon planned his wedding with Oume. The night before the marriage was to take place, Iemon noticed his bedside lamp was dimming. He looked at it curiously. It seemed as if it was changing. The disfigured face of Oiwa suddenly replaced the lamp. It grew larger and larger in the room. Betrayal! It hissed. Iemon grabbed his stick and swung it at the face. But Oiwa disappeared, and the lamp fell and smashed on the ground. 
Iemon thought he heard the faint laughter of a woman from outside. Shaken, Iemon convinced himself that the vision was simply a result of drinking way too much alcohol. The next day, Iemon had forgotten all about the specter from the night before. He and Oume were wed. When he lifted the veil, however, her beautiful face was replaced with Oiwa's horrible visage. Betrayal! She hissed. Horrified, Iemon drew his sword and swung it at the ghostly apparition, cutting off Oiwa's head. The severed head rolled down the aisle. When it came to a stop, it had Oume's face on it, not Oiwa's. He heard the faint sound of laughter again. Iemon ran to his tiny house, looking for a place to hide. There was a pounding at the door, and Oume's father had demanded that he be let in. When Iemon did so, Oiwa was standing there. Betrayal! Once again, Iemon tried to decapitate her. But when the sword finished its work, it was Oume's grandfather that lay dead. Iemon ran for the cliffs, Oiwa's laughter following him. He stopped at the edge and looked down, perhaps changing his mind. It didn't matter. A passerby reported seeing a woman pushing Iemon off the cliff before she jumped off after him, laughing all the way down. That story always creeps me out, but at the same time I'm kind of glad Iemon got what was coming to him. What do you guys think? Do you think he deserved it? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next 31 nights of Halloween.